and Shepard side by side into turn three. They split the lap car in turn three. Burnell's got a problem. Four wide for the race lead. Alex Payne, the winner, and he is Jimmy Grant trying to stuff it up through the middle. Johnson wins at Canadagua. Something the hobby stocks and street stocks will be doing tonight. As it is Ovens Memorial Night, they will do the missing man formation. So fans, I want to see the biggest wave in white you've got in you here to kick us off tonight. Because out of turn number four, here come the Lloyds contracting hobby stocks ready to go for Ovens Memorial Night. You pick out your favorite driver, you wave to them, they'll wave right back to you. It's missing man formation style here for the Ovens Memorial. Stu and Brad will be proud of this one. To the always locked self-storage start point. Bubba, Jaron, bring us to the green. And Carly nailed the green flag wave. Great job. And the hobby stocks are fanning out down the back straight away. And don't forget, lap money is on the line here tonight. It'll go through the top 10 in the running order here this evening. And picking up the lap money on lap number one. And leading lap one is Bubba Burnell. Signs here. The always locked self-storage restart point. Green lights are back on. And Bubba shuts the door right here at the flag stand. Big moment there for Burnell and Ellison as Ellison cracked the throttle. So we got 13 more laps to get it done here. And here comes Ellison. He's going to back her into turn number three. And let's see, does he shoot to the bottom? Yes, he does. And Bubba's opened up the door. Here comes Ellison, new race leader here on lap number three. The Peck Electric sponsored machine. And Burnell's got a run down to the inside of Israel here at the line with five to go. Five laps to go that time by, and Burnell will clear Israel off of turn number two. So move Tyler now up into the top five. And Wayne Ellison on Stu and Brad's night going to pick up the win in the hobby stocks. Burnell is second, Peckham is third, Eldridge fourth, and Tyler Burnell rounds out the top five. And so Wayne Ellison has done it. Two in a row here at the Land of Legends. For your hobby stock winner, Wayne Ellison. It's been 10 years since he'd been. Yeah, I really got to thank the crew. Um, this is probably not like a normal hobby stock crew. I mean, these guys work on this thing every single day. It's just, uh, um, they love doing it. Uh, my, my sons, my wife, uh, Corey Lutz, um, uh, Glenn Peters. Um, I even get help from uh, Bob Burnell's crew, Nate, Pen Peck Nate Peckham's crew. The, El the Eldridge gang's giving me a bunch of parts. So, you know, it's just... Uh, it's just amazing how much uh, these guys help each other. Yeah, and you just mentioned. Yeah, I, I want to thank the uh, the Evans family. Um, I, I really appreciate you know them doing this for the full fender classes. They love the full fenders. Both both the whole family do. And, and honestly, I, I think a lot of people do. I mean, yeah, so do I. most of us come out to watch you know the, the modified to stuff like this. But you know, the, the full fender guys probably uh, are. You know, everybody knows one that's, you know, involved in it some way, shape, or form. So um, for them to do this for us, it really means a lot. 